And if you had a day that you wanted wow. to be outside, yes. this was the day to do it because there was a lot of sunshine. Amazing, right? Yeah. And uh, hopefully you got outside and enjoyed it. I did. Okay, because it's going to be over tomorrow morning. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yeah, We're ready. You've yeah. been warning us. All right. Yes, change is rolling in as we head through tomorrow morning. That includes cloud cover, even the possibility here of a little bit of drizzle. So let's take you into that microclimate forecast and we'll show you those blue skies once again in case you were stuck in the office all day long. And you can see out here across Walnut Creek, just a little bit of high cloud cover, but really overall very comfortable. Currently 71 degrees. So if you're doing anything the next couple of hours, uh, no need to worry with that weather. It's just going to get a little bit cooler. So you might need a light jacket if you're headed to the grocery store around 8 o'clock. We'll be down to 60. And then notice the cloud cover starting to increase tonight. That's part of some larger changes that's going to bring us uh, so a really stark difference here as we head into tomorrow's forecast. Now it's not a strong storm system. It's going to be based off to the north, but it does look like it'll break up up before it gets here. So basically that means for us we'll get some clouds in here, some drizzle and also a little bit of morning fog mixing in. So be prepared tomorrow morning for again a few drops out here on the roadways. Uh, you can see the largest thing would be that widespread cloud cover. I think we'll stay in that kind of situation here through about 10 o'clock in the morning and then the best part about tomorrow we will get a window here of some sunshine coming in right around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So starting it off with tomorrow temperature wise we've been used to this lately. Lots of 40s across the Bay Area. It'll bring us to 42 in the Tri Valley South Bay coming in at 44 headed out to the North Bay. We're looking at low 40s here. San Francisco 47 and the East Bay 43. Now with those clouds moving in, uh, it's going to help temperatures to respond and drop a little bit lower. So about three to five degrees cooler tomorrow. So instead of those widespread mid and low 70s, we're back down to the 60s. 68 here in San Jose over to Morgan Hill 67. Let's move it over to the East Bay also wide. Spread 60s here, 69 in Antioch, 66 in Walnut Creek. That trend continues for the peninsula with 64 in Redwood City. Go anywhere near the northern peninsula or the coast, and you've got those 50s. San Francisco, I have it at 53 in the marina and 58 in downtown. Let's move it off through the North Bay, 68 in Santa Rosa, right down to Mill Valley, 63. Okay, a little bit of drizzle tomorrow is good, but I know what you all want, and that is some bigger rain chances, and that is still locked in the forecast. Once we hit Saturday, widespread rainfall, uh, some snow for the Sierra, about one to four inches. Totals on this really haven't wavered a whole lot. We're looking at about a quarter to half inch range. Uh, North Bay, East Bay, maybe even in the South Bay getting in on a quarter to a half inch as well. So we're good for that rain as we head into Saturday's forecast. Also chillier weather. We'll be back into those mid 50s here in San Francisco. We dry out Sunday. Sun comes out wind 15 to 40 and then look at these warmer temperatures by Tuesday and Wednesday back up into the 70s and look at this temperature trend for the inland valleys. We are down to 59 on Saturday. Spring arrives Sunday and we see things pop back up and then by next Tuesday and Wednesday. How about some 80s? Oh my goodness. You've got everything on that. Everything. Chart. It's like a lotto ticket. Uh, you know, we should play those numbers. I know, exactly. All, All right. right. Thanks. Jack.